Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you my Inspire One Pro. I have the camera that makes this drone pro. I have it right here, X5, with a 15 millimeter lens that come with the drones once you buy it on a store. And I have another few lenses. But what I want to talk about is this camera here. And this is the X3 Zoom camera, which is looks the same but not totally the same as the X3 camera, the one that comes with a drone when you buy it, not the Pro version. And the difference is that it's a little bigger. And of course, by the name, it's called X3 Zoom. So it has a zoom function. And also, you can see here, it has two arms that hold it on the sides, which means that when you do zoom with a drone, you need to be more stable. So more stable means that you have two arms on the side so it's hold that in the x3 it have only one arm on a side but this is a little bigger and it's very very nice camera i have the options to use either the x5 camera or the x3 zoom camera and i have another two inspire one in my storage place which have x3 camera each so i have a lot of equipment as you can understand I also have two controllers for the drone, one for the camera and one for the uh, pilot. So here I have the Crystal Sky Ultra, as you can see the U says here. And today I want to test this controller with a Crystal Sky screen and the drone with X3 zoom camera and see if I can do zoom and use the zoom options on this screen. I want to test it because obviously it has X3 zoom camera, so it must be an option to do zoom. But I didn't log in to my Go app as I was need internet and every time when I go to the field, I wasn't able to connect, it wasn't fine internet, so I have to do reset for the screen. And now I installed the Go 4 app. So I'm going to see because I used the pilot app, but I didn't see any options to use the zoom function on this camera so i'm going to connect with the go up and see if i able to use the zoom function on the x3 zoom camera a short info this is a 3d printed motor cover and also a 3d printed fit so file on the description below if you have a 3d printer and you want to print it of course you can print it any color you want i just printed green and yellow so i can see the drone better when it's on air so files be down below in order for you to download it and use it. I also have a back mount here for the GoPro so you can mount the GoPro. The reason I raise the feet of the drone so I can have more space uh, under. I can put the GoPro and also the X5. It's a little almost touch the ground when you do the calibration dance when you start the drone. And we're going to start the controller and it's going to start automatically the screen. Have battery ready in it, vibrate sound from the screen. And also we're going to start the drone. And let's see if it's work. I assume it's supposed to work. With the pilot up, I did not see any options how to use the zoom function. So let's see. So here it's recognized the drone click on the camera skip because i just reinstall everything from you so i don't want to do and you see the picture coming and here i can see right away that there is a t that you can do zoom so if i click on a w it's go back and if I click on a T, as you can see, a zoom. Yeah, so as you see here on the screen, if I touch, so if I click on a T, it's going to be zoomed in. As much as I hold it, it's the zoom go in. And if I click on a W, the zoom go out from the drone. 12 seconds later. One more thing that you might ask yourself 
can I do zoom to use with a wheel that take the camera up and down so if I click up and down right now you see the camera it's go up and down but if I click on this button here if I click and hold it all the time and then I use the wheel you see what you see what's going on up and down zoom out so that's really cool thing to do you leave it you leave the button it's get to be up and down you click and hold it then you can do zoom in and zoom out so that's a very nice options to to do so if you want to do zoom uh, in you do zoom in and then you leave the button and then you can do up and down and then you can click and hold it and you do zoom that's a nice options to use the x3 zoom camera on the inspire one and i really like these options that it's possible to do zoom and also up and down the camera and a click of a button to change between zoom and tilt the camera so you don't need to go on a screen and click you can just hold turn the wheel it zoom leave the button turn the wheel it's tilt the camera up and down so that's very nice so yes that's all i want to show you today i hope you like this video and you learn how to use the function of the zoom on the inspire one with the x3 zoom camera i hope you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you on my next video thank you very much for watching bye bye